This is the Resulta P9 from the 1960s. It has nine columns for input that you use with a stylus. Two displays, one up here, one down here. It's got this lever over here, this one over here, this knob down here, this red button up here, these two little buttons down here. Hey, I've got the original, original dust cover. And it prints. Resulta made several machines that all had basically the same design, and it's one I've talked about before in my videos about the Todd and the Chadwick. Each digit is controlled by a wheel sitting on end towards the user, and to enter a number you pull the digit down to the bottom. This machine is called the P9 because you get nine digits and it prints. There's also a machine called the Resulta 9, which is the same thing without the printer. And there's also a Resulta 7 and the P7, which had seven digits. This thing looks like someone took a Resulta 9 and just jammed it inside another thing with a printer on it. Actually, that's exactly how the P9 was made. Internally, it's identical to the Resulta 9, but the external case was swapped for this strange printer assembly. The result is super small and it's meant to be used with a stylus. I don't have the original stylus so I'm using this little screwdriver. Something like this would look like this. Each number you dial in gets added to both registers and then when you hit the big button the number on the bottom register clears. So the bottom one shows the last number you typed and the top one shows the total. This two display system is just like the Todd visible adder. To clear the bottom display you just hit this big button and to clear the top display you use this lever over here. By default the numbers get added every time you type them in but this lever lets you switch to subtraction. So if I want to do 1000 minus 99 I put it in add mode to do the 1000 then I switch to subtract and do the 99. The real deal about this thing is the printing. The Resulta P7 and P9 are the only machines of this basic design that I've ever seen with a printer. These two buttons down here release the outer case, which you know I love. You push them both in and the case will pop right off. It's easy. You just snap it off. It's simple, really. It comes right off. You just snap it off. Perfect. When the case is off, you can even see that the inside is an entire Resulta 9, even down to the label on the faceplate. But how could they just bolt on a printing device on the outside of a Resulta 9? In a typewriter or even a normal adding machine, the printer is integrated into all the other moving parts of the machine. When the machine prints the little numbers, they're called the strikers. They emerge from the machine and slam into the paper with the ribbon in between. It's pretty standard, but it's a complicated mechanism which needs to be built right into the same gears that do all the adding. But the result of nine is just all these rotating wheels. You'd have to totally rework this thing to build a bunch of strikers in there. So how can you take a machine that doesn't have any strikers at all and bolt a printer onto the outside of it? Well, the folks at Resulta came up with a stupidly simple idea that gets the job done just right. First of all, there's no strikers. Little moving arms with numbers on them would require an enormous rework of the mechanics. But on the back of each adding wheel is another little wheel with little numbers on it. And then instead of the numbers slamming into the ribbon and the paper, the whole ribbon and paper roll slams into the back of the machine. It's a great idea. The paper roll itself is the striker and the numbers stay still. Towards the beginning of the video I was using this thing without running the printer at all. You can control this with the little knob on the side here. It's got three positions, P, O, and X. The O position disconnects the printing entirely, which is how I was doing it before. The X position totally locks the bar at the bottom so you can't print anything and you also can't clear the total. The P position is the printing mode. When it's on P, the lower number will be printed every time you hit the bar at the bottom. So when you're adding several numbers in a row, the printout will show each individual number, but not the total. 
Then when you're done, how do you print the total? Well, it turns out there's no way to directly print the number on the upper register. First, you switch it to subtraction mode. Then you hit the red star button. And you pull each wheel down as far as it'll go. The star button makes the wheels stop before they carry. The effect is that you'll be pulling each total digit down to zero, but not any further. And since you're subtracting, this means that when you've turned the total into zero, the number on the lower register will be the same as what started in the upper register. Now that the total's been transferred to the lower display, you can print it. And as a bonus, the machine prints a little star on this line so that you know that line was the total and not just another number being added. On the bottom of the machine, they glued some instructions. Actually, you can see another sticker underneath this one. I'm not sure what's under there. Also on the bottom, you see a patent stamp and what looks like a serial number. It looks like it's handwritten on there, but if you look closely, you can see it's actually engraved somehow. I'm not sure what number that's supposed to be. 4157? I don't know. This is a weird little machine. It's a full Resulta 9 inside of a shell that turns it into a printing machine. You know, sometimes when you take things that don't usually go together, you layer them artfully, you end up with something that transcends its parts. Like once I had a kimchi burrito, and it was great. You realize that these things really work together. Maybe they were always meant to be together. The P9 has this basic adding part, and then the printing part bolted on. So does the P9 reach that elevated level of perfect fusion of its parts? Nope.